amigos welcome back here we are in the Duchessy of Saxe Lauenburg in the year 1496 now when we left off last time uh, the Reformation had fired yes indeed it did um, in Norway of all places I mean I couldn't I don't know. I, I I made the comment that I've never seen it spawn in Mor Norway or in Scandinavia in general, which I'm sure, you know, maybe I have. I just haven't really noticed or, or sort of picked up on it. But um, yeah. Anyway, so the the Reformation's here and there. It is just as I had imagined it was going to. Yeah, the center of Reformation in Bohemia. No surprise there. Um, and I imagine. Yep. There you go. And over in England as well. Well, la dee da. What's this? Religion in province. Catholic state religion. Oh. Connacht. How very un-Irish of you. <laughs> no, but I mean, in all honesty, why is uh, Ireland... Uh, anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, here we are. Here we are. The Duchessy of Saxe-Armburg. Certainly not as big as England, but that's okay. Uh, we do have uh, East Frisia as a vassal. Vassal? Vassal. Um, and we annexed Orsonabrook the the last so we are really up to our backs in in um I'll just let it run by the way uh the aggressive expansion well not really it's really not that bad as I said sort of previously it was it's more so regional I mean that's not bad at all I've seen significantly worse we could keep pushing and in fact I'm sure if we were to uh we could yeah okay I'm sure if we were to head up north and start to take some uh, Danish lands uh, I reckon it'd be a little bit of a different story. Um, but in saying that, I don't know. Cause they've only got Holland as an ally. Oh, <gasps> if we could get Bohemia to come along, sort of maybe when Sweden declares their third independence war, which I'm imagining is going to happen any second now. Um, that's when we'll strike, and then we'll take up as much of this little peninsula as possible. Ideally, I'd like to take the whole bloody thing, but might just uh, Holstein, Schleswig, and then focus on the remaining imperial princes uh, ooh, 51 authority when are you going to call for our reform um, anyway uh, well I hope uh, I hope this has all been a little bit entertaining for you it has been for me for sure I'm enjoying myself quite a lot um, so you know if if there's anything that you can suggest that I could do a little bit better um, you know, go ahead. No, I'll, I'll be brutally honest. Um, I am just playing on normal difficulty, uh, which makes it relatively less challenging. But I, I, I still find there's a challenge to it, isn't there? Yeah, of course there is. I mean, we're in the HRE, we're in OPM. Mm, in saying that, no one's really going to declare some nasty wars against us. Uh, you know, having big bad Bohemia on our side and the like. Speaking of which, I actually wouldn't mind getting matched, because I imagine that you've got this as marked as it. No, you don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, and we've got ten favours with you, too. Oh, oh, and you're only allied with... Yeah, God, I'd love to just gobble you up. That'd be friggin' amazing. It would be, honestly. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how we go. Uh, actually, do we have a claim on you already? We do, don't we? Yeah, in pots. So, let's see what uh, a war would look. Sorry, I'm a little bit a tad distracted today. Which is, oh, that's so not. Yeah, it's sorry, it's impacting my gameplay. I apologise. Uh, I know that the gameplay isn't the best of the best, but it could be better if I wasn't so distracted. Uh, yeah, we wanted to wait until we could get diplomatic technology eight, so we will withhold from getting the cabinet idea, um, and reserve our uh, our monarch points for something a little more tangible not to say that diplomatic relations which is exactly what this would give us yeah is uh, not tangible but you know I'd rather I want to keep ahead uh, I know we're you know just behind but this is the perfect time to be playing catch up so because uh, I imagine at some point uh, printing press will uh, maybe not it's still not even 1500. Jesus, okay. So yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether we should go Protestant here. Looks like it's going to be a big reformation. Uh, I don't doubt that for a second, actually, because if Bohemia and... Yeah, and most of the smaller states around us... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa,
<laughs> uh, oh, 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 did you see that? Catholicism, you're taking a hit. Um, yeah, probably will go Protestant for a plethora of different reasons. Uh, first of all being that most of our allies are probably going to go uh, Protestant or some sort of Reformed. I want to go Reformed. I just, oh God, we've got a lot of enemies, don't we? Well, how come we can't get Hamburg? Well, I want Hamburg. I wouldn't mind Hamburg. How, actually, who do we have? Holland? Ma yeah, Magister. I bet we can't pick Magister. Oh, we can. Good. Good, 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 good. So I want to go to war with you. Oof. We could just do it right the fuck down. What is that aggressive expansion looking like? Vassalize? Again. We have so many vassals. Oh, yeah. Fuck this. We're definitely going to war. Um, yeah, I'll just bring them both along. Whatever. Sure. We probably only really need Cologne. <laughs> Cologne. Who are you at war with? Utrecht. So there's... It. No, I don't... I really don't want to risk it. And if we can bring him along, bring him along. Who cares? Right? So we'll deal with that accordingly. Oh yeah, we got that extra... So we can claim him, even though he's not on our border. Traditionally, obviously, you can only claim uh, when they're on your border. But we do have this little, thanks to the age mechanic... We've got transfer subject allows claim uh, allow claims bordering claims, which I think it's pretty cool to be honest. Uh, so we'll wipe them out uh, with the help of oh god oh oh are we doing really well here? Or is this just my mm. you're going to lose? Oh, actually, you probably wouldn't. Reinforcements are on their way. Hold tight. No. Oh. Yes, doesn't really matter, does it? Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> slow down, Lee. Slow down. Okay. But actually, wait. Oh, I thought that was a military tech. It's not. Production efficiency. Um, oh, wait. Being ahead of time. I never realized that you actually got bonuses for being ahead of time. You don't. I don't know what the fuck I was on about. Maybe you do. And there's certain mods, they do give you a... Ooh, we get a national decision there. Pass Act of Uniformity. What does it say? Take further steps towards a unified church by enforcing church attendance. And set the order of services and prayers to be used in the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, missionaries, well, sure, why not? It'll change uh, once we adopt Protestantism. I mean, I wonder whether I should go now. What's our relations? We're still really... Really... And you're Protestant. How's it, how come it's not heretic? Oh, yeah, neighboring heretic religion, minus 20. Minus 40 for us. It's <laughs> I love that the game presets your feelings towards, uh... Like, no, that's so stupid. I don't, I don't give a crap if you're Protestant, Reformed, Sunni, whatever. But I suppose, you know, given the time. Now, I did sort of speak previously in the last episode, oh, yeah, blah, 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 the Duchessy of Saxe-Lauenburg fading away into nothingness, and... You know, the history and all that jazz. Well, I don't care what you say. I like it. I think it's fascinating. And I will discuss it more because now we are in the age of Reformation. We will be in the age of Reformation. But we have allowed Martin Luther's 95 theses to be nailed to the wall in, well, it was Saxony, wasn't it? Wittenberg. Actually, it was the 500th anniversary of the Reformation the other week, wasn't it? It was too, if I recall correctly. And I don't recall things very correctly. <laughs> but yeah, no. So, um, you know, I'll just uh, sort of run through. So I think, you know, I previously spoke about how um, how it was, uh, you know, the, the, the Ascania lineage uh, in 1420. Um, he was... Uh, Sax Lauenberg was headed by uh, one of the descendants. I'm not going to bother with, the, you know, uncle, brother, blah, blah, blah. A descendant relative because I'm not I'm not going to do the the genealogy of the Ascanias. I just want to sort of I'm more focused on the nation as a whole so one of the descendants of John the second who I've spoken about at great length Eric Eric the fourth um, challenged the Duchessy of Brandenburg and the Duchessy of Lübeck and Hamburg um, they attempted to I think I also spoke of previously that um, the, the the Duke of uh, Saxe-Lauenburg had sold off, you know, certain 
parts of his lands to make money. Um, to, uh, yeah, just make a quick buck, I suppose. Uh, and then as a result, uh, he sort of, you know, lost influence in the region. Um, however, he did, he did attack. He tried to, tried to take it back. Um, and as a result, Hamburg, the, the free cities of Hamburg and Lübeck uh, on the side of Brandenburg beat him silly. And this is when I talk about the, you know, Sachs-Lauenburg fading away into nothingness, into, you know, sort of the, the more the, of the Holy Roman Empire. And it's quite sad because, I mean, although that did sort of happen, you know, the, uh, the reality of it really is, is that, uh, yeah, that's, that's sort of exactly what happened. So, I mean, I'll just read, uh, sort of, you know, verbatim, uh, from the 14th century, Saxe-Lauenburg termed itself as Lower Saxony. Funny, because this is, yep, there you go, Lower Saxony. However, Saxony is the naming for the area comprising of the older Duchessy of Saxony. And I think, ooh, thanks. Uh, I think I also spoke about how uh, there were two sort of different types of Saxe-Lauenburg. Saxe-Lauenburg, Ratzenburg, and Saxe-Lauenburg, something else. Uh, anyway, again, the maps aren't identical. Uh, we're, we're sort of going off a rough idea of what it looks like. Uh, we should probably deal with them. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so in 1500, the Holy Roman Empire established what's called as Imperial Circles. Uh, I actually kind of wish these were implemented in the game, because it is kind of interesting. Uh, imperial Circles were essentially sort of like areas of the Holy Roman Empire, and they're comprised of the, uh, the, the necessary rate of taxation, uh, the amount of levies that was necessary. What do we do here? Let's, let's get back to the game. Let's stop talking about this bullshit. Um, as fascinating as it is. Because we can finish that off, can't we? We're only going to be able to take one thing. I'm only going to feel... Co co God, I want Hoya, though. Oh! We could connect up our lands! We could take Hoya. Which we... We're fuck up. We're doing that, because I want a connection to our lands. Why would you not accept that, by the way? Length of... What is it? Length of war, current peace of a Brunswick and military ally in war, ongoing battles. Where's the ongoing battles? Alright, oh, I see. Yeah, you'll be able to deal with them very easily. Uh, we'll wait for that battle to finish so we can get some war reps out of Brunswick. Um, but yeah, so when the Reformation did come around... Um, of course, the Duchessy of saxe lauenburg as I have already said, as with most of northern Germany, adopted a, a Lutheran um, church, a state church, that was sort of, you know, uh, funded and supported by the state, as was commonplace back in, uh, you know, the 14, 15, 1600s. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, again, it kind of gets a bit ugly, because, because certain areas of saxe lauenburg were sold off, it's not the traditional understanding of saxe lauenburg It would have been probably, uh, essentially, sort of just uh, probably a few acres of land. Um, you, yeah, you got in there. Um, and a castle, you know, to make them look fancy, big, smart, intelligent. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it did play a role in the... Uh, uh, the Reformation. It was very marginal. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Um, yeah, it's actually quite interesting. It got into some sort of dynastic... Uh, ooh, we do want you, don't we? No, we can't do that yet. Um, yes, the, the Escanier line uh, got into some sort of like the Mori Povich of medieval times. <laughs> um, yeah, as uh, one of one of uh, one of the descendants of the Ascanian lineage, uh, one of them, you know, was was the Duke, and then <coughs> his well, his yeah, and he uh, abdicated so that his son could take over, and then eventually there was some sort of issue, and uh, the the father ended up coming back to the throne. It was a bit of a, a family dispute, and his son, who was a military commander for the Kingdom of Sweden. Um, actually went back and tried to forcibly take the lands of saxe lauenburg not just once but twice as well which i thought was pretty friggin' interesting um yeah i don't know there's this obviously there's more details to it but uh, as i said i want to spread it out a little bit more you know um give you a little bit more food for thought uh, anyway yeah we're just we're gonna get it to 100 percent here yeah, there we go so saxe ah you know 
Could give no, I'm not gonna give who he wants it though, doesn't he? But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't want you to expand too much. Otherwise you'll just become a thorn in our side, you'll you won't vote for us and yeah, forget it. Just forget it. Um Get rid of all of your alliances, I want all your money, I want war reps. Oh, should you release yeah, I always like. They also have their own ideas, by the way. And if you play in 1445, the year after the traditional start date, you can play as uh, Thuringian. Thuringian? Yeah. I actually used to live with someone that was from this area. Uh, Yina? Something along those lines? Yeah. It's a great guy. Um, so, yeah, fascinating. Now, what do we do? What do we do? Remember, the ideal peace treaty will involve all of the lands, but. <laughs> The realistic peace treaty can only involve so much. So what I might do is I'll take Hoya. Yeah, I'll take Hoya. Um, let's get rid of your alliances, which probably means you'll find bigger, badder. Give up your claims on me, and I'll take all your money. Well, thank you very much. What's that? What is that? Should I say? Guy said like a fucking hick. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, now we can connect our lands. Now we just have to wait until we can annex you, which is when? Oh, we can. We can already. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, how far behind are we in Diptech? No, we just upgraded. So yeah, sweet. We're okay to annex them as soon as this war is over. Now I want to finish the state of Mittelmark, which is Ruppen, Berlin, and Potsdam. I want to finish it, but I won't be able to for quite some time. Understandably so. We have expanded pretty exponentially. What we can do is make Hoya a core so that by the time this war finishes, hopefully we don't get asked to revoke it from Cecilia. Is that right? Yeah, Cecilia Renata, you're still there? Yes, you are. Ooh. Oh, and you did end up getting Bumberg. I thought you were toast in that war, but apparently not. Alright. Yeah, sure, again. Please, someone explain to me why. Why is this such a secrets in it. <sighs> Add 10 size to the spy network in Sax Lauenberg. Sure. Go ahead. Claim Hoya. Or... Okay, I, I guess I can imagine in years to come, you know, at the end game when so discontent and uh, infiltrate administration... Are, again, I just... No. Never. Until someone sits there and explains to me in the exact detail as to what the purpose of that event is, I just don't care. And I will constantly let them to build my allies build uh, spy networks on me. A wave of obscurantism. As a typical response to different kinds of problems, obscurantism was a frequent behaviour in most nations, at least until the Age of Enlightenment arose in the most advanced Western nations of the European continent. That's us! We're advanced Western nations. I guess that's probably why... Oh, God. Oh, it's another war, too. I'd be interested just to see how much you take again. Fuck, you were just beating them silly. They are going to be really, really hard to deal with now. Unless you deal with them early on. God, they got everything. Yeah, unless you deal with them early on. God, they're going to be an absolute pain in the ass. So is this aggressive expansion. Just give it to me. Just go... Oh, the Conqueror. Otto, God bless you. You're a Conqueror. Just when we needed you. <gasps> yes. No one observes Lent anymore. What are, what are we doing here? Can we even do this? I don't think we can. What have we got? Uh, honestly, Cleves is the only one that's going to drop out in a reasonable time frame. That kind of really sucks. So who do we have a truce with? I should probably write these down, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can just go back and forth. So, Magdeburg we'll have a truce with. Brunswick we'll have a truce with. with Dithmarschen, I think we've already got a truce with. No? So, it'll be Dithmarschen, there'll be Hamburg, there'll be Lübeck, there'll be. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to do this. Munster, Saxony. Munster, Saxony. Have truces with them. But I mean, Dithmarschen, Hamburg, Lübeck. Bavaria, Hesse, and Mainz are enough. And Nuremberg. They're all enough to form a co- Ah! Fuck! I wanted this! No, I don't care. I'm just gonna wait again. This is, this is going to be the campaign of just waiting. Drawing it out. What do we do here? No, no, right, we're waiting. Uh, but I wouldn't mind a improved relations individual. 
Uh, so let's fire you. Hey, doesn't this do something to disorder? Retiring will cost. Okay, it just costs. I thought it had something to do with national unrest. But apparently not. Well, we don't need you. We really don't. And why you're in there, I have no idea. So instead, what we should be doing, in fact, this is why we should be utilizing our fucking... Uh, diplomats. Uh, it will improve relations with you. I think Mainz was also a little bit cranky, which is so stupid, because look, you've taken Frankfurt and... I tell you what, the, the smaller German states are getting more and more aggressive with each patch, I have to admit. Well, so I've witnessed anyway. And believe me, if anyone knows anything about smaller German states, it's going to be me. Um, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Uh, yeah, we said we wanted to build a shipyard. In Stard. And that's precisely what we'll do. Not that we've got any spellers to spare, but in due course, in due course. Uh, do you have... you've got a dock? Beautiful. So we'll be inheriting some decent land. Don't you worry about that. Um, Frisia. East Frisia. Look at that. 14. Yeah, 20. 20 development. Just in one... Oh god, I wish I could... Ah! I wish I could start annexing a vassal during a war. I know it would be vastly overpowered if that were the case. Oh! Thuringian. We could get you as a... How old's your dude? 21. We could just get you as an ally. Yeah. They do have their own ideas, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, they do. Tradition. Yeah, diplomats, leaders without upkeep. The partition of Leipzig. Fortifications of Erfurt. So do they just get the idea that uh, that Saxony had then? I imagine that's the case, isn't it? Economic and offensive, or is it just because they would be released with a certain level of technology? So yeah, probably that's the case. And then they're given free reign on what they want to choose thereafter. Um, all right, now let's fast this. Let's what are we doing? Fucking around here. Let's just get this done. We're gonna have to wait at least, at least more years. Yep, I don't care. Eight years. Ah. <laughs> It's a long fucking time. I never actually checked to see if we got that improved relations guy. No, we got Anton Salter yet again. I don't want to spend... Eh, we're doing it anyway. Whatever. If we don't get it, and I don't want to fuck around with the estates because they're always a level far too high for me to actually employ. Yes, I love a good story. Give me improved relations. <sighs> yes. All you have to do is ask nicely. And there it is. Um, we're going to pull this down. It's halfway, and let's, uh, yep. So we'll just sit you in Hoya because these guys are going to get real shitty. Yay! It's a core. That's all I wanted. Now, we will never get asked for unlawful territory. Or we will. I still don't know. I haven't been able to try it out. So, <laughs> whatever. Don't matter. Uh, do we increase autonomy? I think we should not. Aha. Uh, so, we're, yep. And who else is going to be really shitty at this peace deal as well? Magdeburg, look at that! See, look at look at the progress we're already making on this. Hamburg, who we don't have a truce with. Let's just do it with people we don't have a truce with. Hamburg, you were an enemy. Yeah, you're you're a rival anyway. So what the fuck? You're gonna be shitty regardless. <sighs> that's what you get for being such a beautiful city. Um, Bavaria, that's the one. I thought we were allies too. No, maybe not. Maybe there's another. It would have been another. Um, Anyway, here we are. Yes, Bavaria. Anything to improve out. Does this do anything? It does too. Look at that. Happy to help. Sax Lauenberg is the finest mediator in the Holy Roman Empire. You know? The, the judiciary of the Holy Roman Empire. If you need something... Wait, no, we are a conqueror, aren't we? Oh, no, sorry, that our heir is a conqueror. We have a tactical genius who's kind-hearted. That's probably why we're doing so freaking well, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, importing iron. I always like this one. We strive to keep the Lauenberg military strong, modern and domestically supported. But sometimes our priorities end up in conflict with each other. Lacking the rich iron ore of our neighbours. Oh, I've gone through this before because I know I always suck about how much I want this. And I want that... I, I want that iron. What does iron actually do again? Local development costs... Uh, that local defensiveness. Oh, what does fish do? Local sailors modifier. Beautiful. What do you do? Naval force limit. They never used to have these descriptions here, by the way. Land force limit. Yeah, cool, cool. Ah, even the little 
Yeah, it's got grain represents the vegetable food stuff that was a staple diet for humans and animals. Lack of it would always lead to revolts and riots. Other cereals and vegetable foodstuffs would later be augmented by tomatoes, corn, even potatoes from America, offering a wider choice both in food and agricultural production varieties. Fucking, I... I don't care what you say, this is just... And I love that there aren't that many different ones, you know? <sighs> just, yeah, I know. I shouldn't... I don't know why I'm so fanatical about it. Um, no, we want the mercantilism. What does that do to our trade? Nothing, probably. I should have checked before. Oh, well, what you gonna do? Oh, yeah, we were gonna wait for you. So then, at the turn of the month, we're going to have zero to no aggressive expansion. We'll have so much aggressive expansion. Who the fuck am I kidding? I'm gonna piss off so many people with this peace deal. Um, probably, mostly, the people that are watching this. Yes, we want Pike and Shot. The Arquebus was easy to use as a weapon, but also inaccurate and slow to fire, leaving users vulnerable to cavalry charges. Blending with pikemen allowed Arbor Cruisers, Arbor uh, to fire and then fall back to be shielded by pikemen when enemy cavalry or infantry appeared. Good to hear. Oh, new trade research is heretical. We have had... Accept the demands. Accept the demands. What's this piece going to be like anyway. None. None at all. So accept the demands. Yep. Bugger it. Bugger it all to hell. Though I wouldn't mind uh, cabinet the the next diplomatic idea. A consort of the people. No, we don't have the money for you, lady. Sorry. Ooh. QQ. What's going on over here? In the Caucasus. Oh, well, there goes Armenia. Tata Armenia. Or well, maybe not. Maybe we haven't seen the end of Armenia just yet. Uh, okay, bugger off the platinum. Who else is pissed off? Oh, you're at war. Two, uh, Tith Martian. Wait, I'm going to be waiting a really long time, aren't I? Because it's, it's Hamburg, Lübeck, Hesse, and Nuremberg. How long are these truce timers? 11 years. Oh, fucking Pomerania's gonna join too, isn't he? This could be a really long time. So, okay, arguably, let's just say next year, with the improving relations guy, let's say Hesse and Nuremberg are gone, so all we're gonna have left is Pomerania, Saxony, whom we have a truce with. Right. I'm gonna have to keep checking this, sorry. Um, so, it'll be Lubeck, Hamburg, Dithmarschen. Lubeck, Hamburg, Tithmarschen. That's three. And then we'll still have Brunswick, Saxony, and Thuringia. Saxony. Oh, we'll just have to wait, I guess. I'm not leaving... I'm, I, I don't care what you say. I, I'm not leaving this war without Potsdam. I want to finish off that fucking state. I want to move my goddamn capital there. And I want to show the world that we are better than uh, everyone else that attempted to take Berlin. That we can hold on to it, and not only hold on to it, but make additions there too. Relentless drill. Our men have been drilled to the pitch for military efficiency. Like a cold spring, we cannot maintain this high level for too long. Still, for a while, our armies will stand where lesser men would run. Yes. Relentless drill. Good. Love it. That's what I want to see. Alright, come on. Just hurry the fuck up. Alright. Sick of the... Uh, there's colonialism. Right. The discovery of the new world has heralded a new era, not only for the colonizers and the colonized. This changes everything, everything, everything. Um, in fact, what does it change? Or who? Do yeah. Shit. England's going to be real good this uh, this game. I can tell already. Look at that. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're going to perform exceedingly well. God, come on, France. Yeah, get in there. Fuck, defender against. Who are your allies? Do you want to be allies? You will totally accept an alliance. Cool, that's what we're working towards next. Wunderbar. Oh, Bohemia, you can peace out now if you want. You don't need to be here. It's just us hanging around, making sure no one gets shitty at us. Speaking of which, was my theory right? No, Pomerania and Hesse are still around. At least we haven't got call for pizza yet. So I'm happy to wait. So happy to wait. And we'll get the... Yes! Things are coming together. Oh, Thuringia. 
you do want to be allies. No, you got a you got an air. I can't be fucked. Although it is average. Is that Hesse and yeah? Look how similar their flags are. Isn't that funny? Practically identical. What is the difference? So there's that. And then, okay, there is minor differences there. I love that they're both willing to. Hey, if we did Hesse, if we become allies with Hesse, which I wouldn't mind doing. Although, are you? Yeah, you're rivaled with Cologne. Which doesn't really matter, does it? Hesse also has unique ideas if anyone else is interested in that, which they're probably not. Um No, let's leave let's leave room for uh France. Maybe even the idea of a vessel. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's only five aggressive expansion the difference. <gasps> And what an acquisition they would be, right? <laughs> oh, my greed knows no bounds. This is incredible. Well, who do we? Brunswick, Saxony, and... Th so, really, only Brunswick, Saxony is getting kicked out of this. Pomerania, Munster, Lübeck, Dithmarschen, and Magdeburg could all form a coalition against me. <laughs> what do I... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I want to do it because we're going to annex. Yeah, fuck it, we're doing it. Yep, we can wait. We will wait. Never you mind. Actually, where are our... Yeah, you want to... Okay, fine. We'll get some claims going on you. Which is Stralsund, which is the only one we can claim, but we will claim it. Don't you bloody worry about that one. Actually, should we improve with you instead? No, no. Fuck you. You're our enemy. Enemy. Um, in the process, though. Let's get that... Can we insult while you're at war? No, you can't. Uh, I guess that makes sense. What about you? Damn it. Ah, there's the call for fucking peace. Which is fine, because we've still got the cult, uh, kind hearted trait. Uh, Hoch. Hoch Wilhelm is kind hearted. This ruler is kind hearted. A great interest in the common men and women of the realm has made our rel ruler well loved and our country more resistant to harsh times. There you go. And the ravages in war. Of war. Ravages of war. Look at that. Yeah. Forget it. We're doing this. Yes, we are. Instruct him to go forward. I guess it's getting to the point now where... Yeah, fuck it. I'm not interested in Catholicism anymore. It's all about that prot tot 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 Oh, yes. We will be going Protestant. Oof, you're going to take a beating. Can you not die, actually? That'd be... Whoa! Whoa! You're at war with a lot of people. I wanted you to be our ally. Austria, Hungary, Aragon, Castile, England. Shit. You've only got Flanders and Brittany. Oh, I hate the... I hate a dead France. I really do. I think it's a very sad sight. I don't want to see a dead France. Because I hate seeing England... They're going to do so well. Come on, France. You can do this. There you go. Beautiful. What was your peace with them for? I wonder. Come on. Make Napoleon proud. There you are. Yes, don't think that those British buggers take over. As much as I love the British... Um, I, I, I love sovereignty. And the French people deserve their sovereignty. More than anyone, right? I don't know why I said right after that. But yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, you never got Maine either. That's probably set you back a bit, hey. I would imagine as much. But uh, yeah, we're getting a royal marriage with you, and then once we immediately peace out of this, we're as close to... God, everyone's going for their golden eras. E? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I don't care. I don't care. I honestly don't. I am going to do this. Gonna do this. Gonna take you as a vassal. And then we'll probably end the episode there. And then I'll move on to the next one. 
couple more years? How many more years? Pomerani will leave, Saxony will leave, if all goes well, maybe Munster and Lubeck will leave. Oh, come on! You're fucking around here. Jesus Christ. The Royal Heretic! Oh, what? Katharina is Protestant. But they weren't Protestant when we got married, for Christ's sake. They were still Catholic. Very well, and very truly so. What did she convert recently? Katharina is in more trouble than she is worth. Yeah, whatever. I'll deal with the unrest. I don't care. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. And I'll like it. So yeah, a couple more years. A couple more years. Two more. I'll say two more at max. And then after that, it's just... Uh, ooh, ooh, a plague. Of course. We have to do something. We have to do something. Somebody think of the children. Yep, while well, I still can, I'm going to... So that gave me free improved war taxes. So war taxes usually cost 50 military points. But at the current moment, they cost nothing. Ah, and there you go. There's Rax Reform. So the Emperor passed Rax Reform. We get construction costs and development costs minus 5%. As does he. Or she, Cecilia. <gasps> This is a good day, everybody. This is a good day. Is that a few less princes? That's only six, right? Oh. I. I'm very satisfied with this. Let's just, uh... So we've been on the situation then, shall we? So let's improve with you. Who else have electors that we can... Arguably... The Platinum. Hey, buddy. Oh. Well, I don't know who we improved relations with there. <gasps> Become Emperor! Do I? Do you reckon? Oh yeah, let's get Hesse as an ally as well. Why not? Oh, Cologne! Get get Cologne to vote for us was with the... Uh, which is exactly what we're doing. Let's pull you back. Hesse, are you at war with anyone? No, but let's... Yeah, let's, let's be your ally. Just do it. It will be your ally, and then we'll be your ally once this war is done. Which should be any second now, right? Now? Ugh. Still a coalition's worth, yep. I'm gonna have to wait one more fucking year. Jesus Christ, this goes on. Oh! Cost of reducing more exhaustion. Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Calm. Just calm. Let's do this. Stop bitching and moaning. Just exactly what I do. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're taking it. We're leaving it until next year and we're seeing what it looks like. And there goes our age of reformation. And we've got nothing here. I hate how these requirements are not very good. They haven't really thought this out a lot. Because if you're in, uh, you know, well, you can't say that we could, but if you're, say, you know, in the middle of India, and you're, you're wanting to do a run of... Uh, you didn't really take much, did you? Armenia did break free! Look at that! And there's Ardalan as well! The hell's going on in Anatolia? It's a bit weird, isn't it? We will follow you with keen interest. Uh, yeah, like if you're in the middle of India, or I don't know, in the middle, just in the middle of Asia somewhere, you're not going to join the Reformation. You're, you're most likely probably not going to pick up humanist or religious ideas. Maybe you are. I don't know. I've never really played in that area. Uh, I guess convert provinces, yes. Colonial empire, again, that's really only traditionally... In, in the 15 to 1600s, that's really just a European thing. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. Convert another nation, maybe, possibly, I suppose. Asian trade, again. Well, I guess that is geared towards... Yeah, I suppose. Unify all cultures. Okay, maybe I'm talking out of my ass, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Come on, let's get this war bloody finished. Like, uh, inching closer. And our war exhaustion is rising. Very much so. God, what do I do? Do I get... Study technology. 
No, let's get that. Let's do this. God, I don't know why I did that. It was an absolute waste. Whatever. Come on, I just want this water finished. I should stop fucking doing my wars like this. You know, just waiting for my friggin' uh, aggressive expansion to cool down. And of course you're gonna... Yep. White piece, fair enough. You probably got coal for pizza too. For you to justify my... Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes! Like, could if this happened to any more of it with our new effective diplomatic corps, whose administrative ability we deeply believe in, we should be able to justify our war and our demands. And that's exactly what we want to do. Let's see on the tick of the new year. In 1506, people have completely forgotten about the atrocities we've committed, and there it is. We have what we wanted. Boom, 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 boom. Fantastic. Hamburg, where are you? I want you to be my... Oh, fuck it. Pomerania. And you? I'm willing to placate you. Yes, I am. And then we'll just jump right into uh, making you feel better about us. Oh, yes. We must have... Yeah, we must have eclipsed some people there as well. Yep, we eclipsed Hamburg. We eclipsed Brunswick. We eclipsed Lübeck. Pfft, aren't we just doing fantastically, everybody? I'm thoroughly impressed. We'll revoke that embargo, and we're going to have to improve with you. Let's slow down just a little bit. Uh, Hamburg, we're also wanting to revoke an embargo with you. Right, and then we want to annex you. God, there's a lot of things we needed to do. That war was really tying us up, wasn't it? Let's get Holland as an enemy, and then as a result, we're going to insult for extra power projection, as you can see, plus... Uh, one to each monarch point thanks to being over 50 let's embargo you and then we'll insult you we are doing extraordinarily well everybody uh, we should be very ooh, and, and let's get our alliance with you offer our alliance with France who seem to mm, it just fended them off where are you at on here okay so England is bigger than you fuck no no I don't know why I just don't there you are England are you a militarist you're a York too, aren't you? There you are. A oh, Tudor, sorry. Jesus fucking Christ. You are going ham on the world. Yeah, they're going to do extraordinarily well. So, yeah, I think I might leave it there. Yes, I will leave it there. Um, let's let technology catch up. Let's reap the fruits of our labor. And look at that. I mean, we got Magdeburg as a little... Yeah. And then we're annexing you. We're going to be huge any minute now. And it's only 1506 too. So, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, is there anyone else that I want to rival? No, I think we'll just leave it for now. I'll come back to that. Oh, and on that note, there you go. Otto has ascended to the throne, and so begins his reign of... Uh, oh, fucking hell. I just don't give a crap about my uh, monarch points, clearly. Jihan de, de Valois. Lovely. There you go, sprout out a kid, why don't you? And uh, I think next episode we'll make the decision as to whether we'll go Protestant or not. But, so far so good, I reckon. Oh yeah, let's get all of our... Uh, oh, shit, why is that minus five? What's your prestige at? Okay, whatever. I want to keep them relations up with you anyway. Oof. Ideal Protestant country. I have never seen that before. What is that modifier? Cool. Just cool. So, Bohemia, you're only allies of me in Livonian order. That's a bit interesting. Uh, anyway, regardless, thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, our, our progress, because we certainly have made a lot, particularly in this episode, haven't we? Um, and then in next episode, we will we will fully annex East Frisia. We will begin the process of having Magdeburg forget about our aggressive tendencies, and then we'll sort of look at Hanover with. Uh, uh, greedy eyes, so to speak. But we've done well! We've do and we've already got people voting for us, too! Don't we? We do! Let's... Let's become Emperor! Let's do it! Anyway, we'll leave it there. Um, thanks again for watching, everybody. And tune in next time. And we'll, uh, we'll... We'll make more progress, I suppose. Yeah, Jesus, so... Force limits... Yeah, we're doing great. Alright, until then. Thanks a lot. Cheers.